You can forget putting garlic on your kebabs in future Newcastle fans, because Count Dracula's in town. Welcome back to the Black White Banner channel, everyone. Uh, major developments in the last 24 hours, as a lot of you might know, unless you've been living on Cloud Cuckoo land or maybe working every hour God sends. Uh, Unai Emery is now looking like the favourite to get the Newcastle job. And before I go any further and delve into him a little bit deeper, I just want to say one thing based on everything I've seen on social media today since this news broke. Reality check, Newcastle fans. Reality check, Newcastle fans. Reality check, Newcastle fans. And one more time, reality check, Newcastle fans. I've seen a lot of people getting straight on the back of this appointment saying they wouldn't want him, it's risky. Let's just take a step back and remember where we are. We have had Steve Bruce for the last two plus years. Steve Bruce, who still to this day thinks a tactic is a green and orange mint that you shake in the little tubes. We have had the worst stats for shots on goal. Currently this season, we, again, the same as last year, at the bottom of the pile for those. Worst stats for shots at our goal. Worst stats for chances created. And this has been an ongoing theme for the best part of two years. We have players like Jacob Murphy and Matt Ritchie at left back and Sean Longstaff and Joel Linton. Like, we are talking about getting a manager here who's won numerous European Cups and has got experience all over Europe, playing, managing at the highest level, managing a club like Arsenal in the Premier League in the past. And there are Newcastle fans saying that they, they're not too happy with that. We are literally, we have not won a football match in 10 games to be bringing a manager in of Emery's pedigree. I, I, I just think, no matter sometimes with some, and I'm not jumping on the back of my own fan base, I'm not, I'm just basing off what I've seen today. And I think anyone who is genuinely pissed off with the news of this potential appointment, I just needs the head, needs the head look at that little bit. Like anyone is better. I'm sure Emery's going to get the respect of the players because of what he's done, where he's managed, and 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 just his his aura. Because everybody knows him; he's managed some of the biggest clubs in the in the world. So they're going to have his attention. They're going to be on board with the appointment. We've had no tactics for two years, so he's going to have some imprint on the team. There's going to be a bit of a positive buzz if he comes in the next couple of days, especially for the Brighton game on Saturday. Like, what worse can happen? We haven't won a game in ten matches. We are in the bottom three. We can't get any worse. Did you watch the Chelsea game on Saturday? I, 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 so I just want to get that one off my chest. And that's where I'm at with things anyway. Maybe, I don't know, let me know in the comments if you're unhappy with this appointment. I'd like to know why. Because of our current circumstances, I'm a bit confused. Now, let's look at Emery. I mean, he wasn't well received at Arsenal, but he was always going into a difficult job taking off from Arsene Wenger there, wasn't he? Arsene Wenger was like there tea lady, he, you know, he, he was their bread and butter. So to take over from a man who's been in the job as long as what he was, was always going to be difficult to put have your imprint on, on a team that's only ever been used to one way. His win percentage at Arsenal, 55%. Um, I think what he seemed to struggle with in his time in Arsenal was, his, was the defensive side. That's what I worry about with Newcastle. But I also look at it another way, that if he can get Fernandes back in the team, Get Fabian Shah, a Swiss international playing football again. We've got good options at centre back. Um wing backs, full backs, not so much. So that, I mean defensively is always going to be the worry with this Newcastle team because on paper, there's definitely a player in Matt in, in uh, Ryan Fraser. I don't care what anyone says, there is. There has to be. He need we need to see that and manager needs to get the best out of him. We know what Maximin's capable of, we know what Callum Wilson's capable of. We've seen the best of Joe Willock. We haven't seen that yet this season, so we've got a player there. We've got Almiron. I'm not Almiron's biggest fan, but there's got to be a player in there as well. He does it for Paraguay. I read the international reports month after month. And he's got a decent attacking squad on paper there, first team, with no injuries. So why would you not be happy with a, with a European Cup winning manager coming in? There's a lot of talk of Eddie Howe was apparently interviewed this week. I don't know whether that's true. It's all speculation. 
Yes, Eddie Howe would have been a safer bet in terms of knowing the Premier League. Yes, Eddie Howe's avoided relegation in the past, but I guess it. it you know, everybody's got experience in the Premier League. He knows what it's about now. He's done his time, 18 months he had at Arsenal. So he knows the Premier League, knows the pace of the football, knows what he's coming against. And you're thinking, European Cup winner, Bournemouth mid-table year after year. I, I don't know. I know, I know Eddie Howe's on a shoestring there, but I'm over the moon. I'm ecstatic and I, I'm sick of the negativity. We don't know what effect Emery's going to have. All we know, Newcastle fans, is that it is better than what we currently have. And that's the key. And yes, this, this appointment hasn't been confirmed. And I'm not going to talk about it as if it has. But it is looking, if you look at what Keith Downey said in all the journeys, like it is going to happen. Unai Emery's black and white army. So let's just get on board with it. We are at our worst at the moment. We are not creating chances. We are not having shots on goal. We are conceding too many goals. So I am sure, I am sure that Unai Emery will have a positive effect in some way, shape or form on our team. But we have to get behind him because we have got a big month coming up before our Christmas gets really tough. And then there's January where the Saudis can literally give Unai this. And Unai, Unai Emery has got the pull. Don't forget that. He has the pull of players because of who he is and what he's won and how well known he is. Eddie Howe maybe going for players around Europe. Not so much. So let's just stay positive, Newcastle fans. Let me know what you think in the comments. But I, for one, am delighted and gobsmacked, to be honest, that a club in the relegation zone, doing as badly as we are with the squad we have, can pull a manager of Emery's quality. Is it for the money? I don't know. He's, he's talked in, in previous press conferences about wanting to come back to England because he feels connected to the fans here and how passionate we are because that's what he loves. So I don't know. I'm sure he'll take to our support like a duck to water, especially if he starts getting results quickly. And I'm chuffed. Count Dracula in for me. I'll get the fans now. I'll get the cape on. You know, I'll chuck all the garlic I have out, out in the house. Unai in for me. But as always, Newcastle fans, we'll wait on the news of it, of it breaking properly and then I'll jump on another video once it's confirmed. But let me know your comments and thoughts. Do you want Unai, 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 Unai? Do you want Unai in? Um, just let me know what you think. I'm curious because there's been a lot of negativity which has surprised me. Um, and as always, like, subscribe, get us on Facebook and Instagram and keep supporting Black and White Banter. We are going to make it to the top slowly, slowly, but surely. Unai Emery's Black and White Army. See you later. <laughs>